What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another sick and lit edition of Wrestle Shade, the natural selection. We're in the building tonight for Smackdown Shade. Okay, reactions, commentary, shits, and giggles. Boom. We're in Lincoln, Nebraska tonight. Smackdown starts the show off with Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. I thought we were going to get a match between these guys, but next thing I know, commentary goes to a flashback of what happened last week, okay? When Roman Reigns threw a hissy fit temper tantrum, okay, and had the bloodline and himself attack Randy Orton, AJ Styles, and LA Knight. Boom. We fast forward back to what's happening live, and as Kevin Grimes is coming out to get ready to face Grayson Waller, he is attacked by the Bloodline, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, bitch, okay? Security came out, they pushed security back, you know, security didn't do all that much. They got in the ring as if they were going to attack Grayson Waller, and before you know it, bitch, Nick Aldis came out, but before Nick Aldis could really say anything, Paul Heyman grabbed the mic, professing to the WWE Universe that, you know, Roman Reigns... I, myself, Paul Heyman, Solo Sokoa, Jimmy Uso, we are not the bad guys here, okay? The bad guy is Nick Aldis. We're not the bad guys here. And it's pretty much given, they can't take Nick. They can't take Mr. Aldis. It's no shade. Uh, Paul Heyman called him a James Bond wannabe, 007 wannabe. And he do give you that a little bit, but I like the way Nick Aldis carries himself. Like, no shade. He is management. He is CEO-like material. But anyway, Nick Aldis socks it back to the bloodline and Paul Heyman by what I thought he was going to do. I thought he was going to bar them from ringside, but it didn't really make any sense to bar them from ringside if neither one of them really had a match tonight. So, Nick Aldis puts Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso in a match tonight. Possibly a handicap match tonight, okay? There is a small stipulation to this. Boom. Um, I'm guessing Nick Aldis thought that Roman Reigns was there tonight. I found this as a way to kind of like play us and play the audience, bitch. Nick Aldis. You know Roman Reigns was not there tonight, period, okay? <laughs> Paul Heyman had to come back and remind you that Roman Reigns was not in the building. Roman Reigns is not here in Lincoln, Nebraska tonight. And so Nick Aldis is like, okay, well, if Roman Reigns is not here and we can't have our three on three, then it'll be... Jimmy Uso, Solo Sokoa, and they have until tonight, until the main event, to find a third member. Me, however, I thought they were probably going to try to make Paul Heyman ass be the third member. That would have just been hilarious for tonight. But the uh, Bloodline have to find a third member to fight in this match between Randy Orton, uh, LA Knight, and AJ Styles. It is giving three on three they just got to find that third guy. And I'm not even making no predictions right now. I don't even know. I don't even know who this guy could be. I'm doing this live as the show is going on. And I have no clue. I really don't think nobody is effing with the bloodline right now. But we shall see. We get back from commercial break. And it's given Jimmy Uso, Solo Sokoa are backstage in the green room, locker room whatever but it's given jimmy is worried because he's thinking what i'm thinking nobody fucks with them right now nobody's really fucking with the bloodline so it's like who is going to team with us against randy la knight and aj styles who's gonna team up with us against them three like who and so it's given paul Heyman pull up talking about don't worry about it i got it I'm going to handle it. It's a locker room full of guys that have been kissing my ass trying to get in the bloodline. Y'all ain't hold no auditions. I mean, I didn't see nobody else really trying to get in the bloodline like the people are trying to get in the Judgment Day. Other than Sami Zayn, and he played y'all to get in. And then look what he had. Look what he doing. Anyway, I'm not even going there. But Paul Heyman said he going to handle it. So we're going to see. <laughs> we're going to see where this goes. 
Y'all didn't even tell me I didn't have my wrestle head on, my wrestle shade cap, the the shade crown, okay? The shade title belt, bitch. I mean, I feel like we knew this was going to happen, us, the WWE Universe, me and you, okay, the viewers of the show. I feel like they tried to make it seem like Paul Heyman was going to easily find a partner for Jimmy and Solo. And it's like the total opposite is happening. We knew, <laughs> we knew that this was gonna happen. So we get to a point backstage where Paul Heyman has approached Carlito, Joaquin Wow, El Dorado, okay, versus Garza and Humberto Del Rio. Okay, let's <laughs> let me stop. But uh, Santos Escobar got attacked by Carlito, and soon after that, Paul Heyman pulls up on Carlito backstage with the apple and all shining the apple and everything trying to persuade him into teaming up with jimmy and solo as their third partner and it's just like carlito's like no the only one i'm interested in fighting is santos escobar so it's giving carlito it's a no it's almost nine o'clock bitch okay it's giving you got a good 45 minutes to find a partner for tonight or it's given mayhem okay also too we had a small snippet of some backstage shade between uh carmelo him and grayson waller austin theory carmelo was backstage talking to nick aldis nick aldis was congratulating carmelo and carmelo was just giving you know the blue do look good on me you know i'm trying to shoot my shot and as soon as he started to get into what he was getting into he was interrupted by Grayson Waller and boom, boom, boom. From there, the match was made. Him versus Austin Theory later tonight. Okay, uh, looks like we have Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits action on SmackDown tonight. I refuse to call them their new name and they better not debut it tonight. They look good though. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, at the bottom it say the almighty Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. They are here to address what happened last week. Period. With Miss AOP, bitch. Let's go, Bobby. Bitch! Oh no. I just got you into a fight that you can't win. You see, because when we have an issue with somebody, we go confront them face to face and we settle things. Don't announce the new name of the group. Please. Please. We don't go lurking in the darkness or hiding in the shadows. We walk down to this ring, we roll up our sleeves, we clinch our fists. When we get ready to fight. Okay! Hurt Business 2.0! So, Karen Cross, if you and your boys want to settle this, if you got an issue with us, you can come down here and you can settle this right here and right now. Let's go, Bobby. Oh, lights went out. Oh, Lord, here go Paul in this leather. Come on, y'all. Oh, he pointing up. All right, we got theatrics. All right, I can't even understand this. Carrying cross with another cryptic message, bitch. I. I... All right, you guys. So it's nine thirty. The show is about to be over with. I guess we're about to get ready to introduce. Everybody for the main event match tonight, but we also did have some more stuff go on in SmackDown uh, We had AOP Oh wait They're about to announce who Paul Heyman selected for their for their member. Hold on y'all wait Uh, so it's just gonna be a handicap match. Paul Heyman couldn't find nobody, y'all. Don't worry. 
Jimmy's still worried, bitch. Solo not worried. Solo ain't worried about nothing. Ain't worried about nothing. Bitch ain't worried about nothing. Solo not worried about nothing. No yeet. But Monday it will definitely be yeet. But tonight is no yeet. This is my scalp. Wait, let me go ahead and try to make it through this real quick for you guys. No shade, no tea. We had some other action happen. We had Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. Thank God they didn't use the new name tonight. <laughs> Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits came out to the ring wanting to get payback, calling out AOP, calling out Karrion Cross, And, of course, Karrion Cross. Oh, they didn't attack Randy Orton, bitch. I cannot. Super kick to Randy Orton chin. Solo Sokoa. Oh, they doing them dirty before they get in the ring. Some more spike. Nick Aldis is about to call this match off. Okay, we have Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits come out to the ring, call out AOP. Uh, we have Paul Erling and uh, motherfucking Karrion Cross do a sort of like intro to AOP, introducing AOP to the WWE Universe. They really didn't come out in force tonight. Uh, you know, oh good, we went to a commercial break. Because <laughs> this is about to get spicy. I don't know what's going on here, but anyway, Street Profits came out to the ring looking to fight. AOP was not in the building, just like Roman Reigns wasn't in the building tonight. Uh, and so we got like a montage of how sadistic and how crazy they were. Karrion Cross introduced us to Akam and Razor, AK. Okay? And yeah, he's like, he's ready to usher in some new shit. And so they were playing mind games with Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. We speed up to uh, a segment where Bobby Lashley is walking backstage with the Street Profits in tow. And he rolls up on Paul Heyman. And Paul Heyman tries to shoot his shot with Bobby Lashley. And Bobby Lashley like, no. <laughs> the only way I'm going to be in the ring in a situation like that is if I'm in the ring facing Roman Reigns. So, flat out, he got his no from Bobby Lashley. Oh, yeah, we had a little bit of shade, a little bit of drama with Bailey not winning that match with Bianca Belair, with Dakota Kai still being the translator for the group, going off to the corner, talking to Bailey. Bailey's jacket is eating! Eat that jacket, whore! Eat that jacket! You know, playing telephone. She probably being two faced it too, no shade, no tea, because Dakota Kai, she just don't seem like she got Bailey back. Like, I'm ready for Bailey to be around some real bitches, okay? Not to be the girls talk about her, her back and shit while they out getting their nails done and doing face paints and shit like that. Like, they talk about Bailey behind her back. Like, not too, too, too much going on in tonight's episode. We're here for the main event match. We're trying to see what Solo Sokoa and Jimmy are going to do in this handicap match versus LA Knight. AJ Styles and Randy Orton, which they already attacked Randy Orton. Boop, boop, boop. So, we're about to go ahead and get into it. Because if you think you're just going to stroll into the Royal Rumble with that cast, that, excuse me, with that weapon wow. in your hand, I promise. <laughs> but we both know it, that's not what it is. This is a... Uh... <laughs> Let's talk about it face-to-face -face next week on SmackDown. On the Kevin Bitch. Owens show. That's going to be a key. Bitch, Randy Orton came back out on these hoes. I'm not even gonna lie. RKO, I'm not even gonna lie. Jimmy and Solo were working LA Knight and AJ Styles, bitch. It was a close match. But LA Knight and AJ Styles just could not get it together. It was a lot of friction and it was a lot of, why weren't you there for me? Why didn't you do this? Why are you doing this? Tag why you can. It was a lot of friction. Okay. AJ Styles, phenomenal forearm. Off the top rope on Solo. Now LA Knight, he gonna get his finisher off. Oh. Let's go. I'm gagging. Randy Orton came back out. Holding his throat and everything, bitch. He was like, nah. I still got unfinished business with the bloodline. And look at these two here still arguing. Solo RKO! Randy like, bitch, what y'all doing? Y'all over here still arguing? Let me go RKO Solo, bitch. And he gone. Oh, he gonna get Jimmy. Oh, European uppercut. 
European uppercut. Passed him off to AJ Styles. They gonna walk the dog on these boys. Lord. They about to work the boys. Now who can come out and help Solo and help Jimmy? Somebody gotta come out. They are totally destroying the place. They said, fuck it. Look. They about to eat Solo up. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! Now. Table, please break. Ooh. And the music dropped. They ate that. They ate that up. They ate that up. Okay. Damn. They down there talking shit to Solo. Shining a light in his face. Call Roman Reigns. You better call him. Because they ate this up. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit me up in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification to be updated and notified when I upload more content such as this. We're going up. We're steadily going up. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your views, your likes, your attention. It's greatly appreciated. And I'm always here for you guys' comments. Know that first and foremost. Period. So, I will see you guys in the next video. For purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, or research, is not an infringement of copyright.